Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. We are playing some more Nordic Ashes today. This game I have been really, really getting into. It's incredibly fun. It's one of the one of the better roguelikes I've played recently, even though this game has come out. This game came out over a year ago. It is coming to 1.0 release in a few weeks here, though. That's kind of how it jumped on my radar. I was I got a key for it. And so I've been playing it a lot as much as I can with whatever free time I have. I still have a lot of grinding to do, uh, but I've unlocked a few characters. I've almost unlocked Halcor, uh, and I'm going to slowly work towards unlocking the rest of these characters. But today we're going to run the starting character, Axeldor, and I'm going to kind of start working my way through completing some of these other um, the other maps, because as you complete them, uh, you're supposed to kind of complete conquer all the realms with uh, all the different characters and things like that. You can get different skin colors, like conquer any realm seven times with Axel Door to unlock this skin. Uh, conquer one of three realms with Axel in normal mode. So there's a lot of different skins you can get. So I kind of want to work on clearing all the different realms. So we're going to run Axeldor and we're actually going to run a full on Stormbringer build. I'm going to level this weapon up as much as I can. I'm going to put my ascension points into this and I'm going to try to see if we can just get that as strong as we can. Uh, let's run Alfheim because I believe I've already cleared Midgard with this character. So we're going to jump to the second map. Uh, we're just going to do normal for now because I don't I'm not that strong. Um, <laughs> I'm still working my way through the meta progression and all that, but so we're just gonna we're gonna keep this kind of we're gonna keep this kind of simple for now, while we, while we get stronger. Um, I've never actually run Stormbringer before, so I'm curious to see what this weapon looks like, what its ascension looks like. Uh, I mostly whenever I play this character, I usually run the Iron Hammer because I think that's a pretty that seems like a pretty good weapon, uh, and it has good it has a good ascension for it, so. That's kind of the one I've been running the most when I, whenever I, oh, I forgot I start off with a lot now. I start off with a lot of level ups. So we can do cooldown. So let's, um, we'll make our way towards the ultimate so we can get uh, the whirlwind. So let's see, this is gonna be thunder armor. Imbue your armor with lightning bolts that target the enemy around you. So we'll get an extra power and then we're gonna get, I'm gonna put a lot of points into attack speed too. So attack speed and the Stormbringer ax. Right, let's come get uh, some of these objectives too. So what's this going to be? So this is Skull Staff. We're going to get this. So I'm going to take a heart worth of damage, though, for it. But it is going to give me... It gives me a level 5 weapon right off the get, which is obviously really good. I think it's really... From what I've gathered, it's really important to get those... Uh, to get the... To get as, pretty much kind of as much relics as you can. I don't know if there's really any downside to getting... To getting more, especially when you get one, it starts off as a level five. Wait, what's strange rock? Uh, looks like it belongs to an ancient statue. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's my first time seeing that. Okay, so let's do, let's get our whirlwind ability here first, and then we'll, and then we'll start upgrading into these other ones into this tree over here. Uh, I think getting your ultimate is really important, too, because it's a really powerful attack. Uh, <laughs> so I think you should probably get that with every build you play. I don't know. I'm still learning what the best uh, build strategies are, but from what I've gathered, the ultimates are usually really strong. What is this? Oh, is this the this one gives is this gives me this gives me the free ascension crystal. I forgot I picked that up. Um, I picked that up in the store. Okay, so now it's gonna cast three axes cast three lightning each 
Uh, basically every second that deal six to ten damage. That sounds pretty sweet. Okay, let's um, I'm gonna re-roll this because I want to get projectiles. They're perfect. I want to get more projectiles on this. Uh, that worked out. Oh, that worked out super well. Uh, because now especially if we're gonna be casting out lightning, I want to make sure we're getting more projectiles. So yeah, now you can see they're kind of casting out a, a lightning beam. Kind of. Oh, they only do it every... They don't do it all the time. Okay. I think it said, like, every second. Yeah, I'm not... I don't know if I'm digging this ascension too much. It seems okay. It doesn't seem like it's that powerful, though. Um, let's go... I want to go to this mine over here. Feels like these need more range or something. I did unlock the Tark Tark Tall Core Shop too, so now in between waves, um. Uh, I have much, <laughs> I have much better options in the shop. Uh, I'm no longer just buying for for the first couple of videos you saw. Uh, I only had the first little shop unlocked, so now I definitely have much more options. So gold's a little bit more uh, valuable for me right now. We're gonna come up here and get. Um, I I don't know if these. I think these are always relics, whatever this blue icon is. Okay, so what is this? Uh, electric cage. I'm trying to read what you do. When paralyzed in an enemy, there is a 30, and it's going to cost me three points. Okay, we'll take it. Um, mainly because I do have, I think I can paralyze with my electric, with my electric uh, armor and my axes now, right? Yeah, because these are thunder. And then this does, um, this does lightning now. Okay, so let's keep upgrading this area and cooldown. Projectile and duration. And then we have one point to put into something. Burn damage? No. Um, okay. We'll start putting into, I think, attack speed now. I'll be honest, I'm not super impressed with Stormbringer here. It definitely feels a little lackluster. Right? This doesn't feel this doesn't feel that strong. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe later, but I feel like we already got all the good stuff. We already got the ascension. Uh, maybe the other ascension is better. Every weapon has two ascensions, which is actually which is real which is really sweet. I'm I was surprised to see every weapon has two ascensions to it. So we just need to survive here for... Her. And this is going to give us that spins around you and throws lightning bolts to nearby enemies. This should be an easy one to get. We only have to hang out here for five more seconds. Okay, let's, um, let's see. Let's keep up. We, we're committing to this. We're going to commit to this. And then a legendary cool down an area. Uh, we're going to reroll that, though. Damage and duration, I think that's better. Kill the little mini bosses. Wait, okay, this when it hits the enemies, it does 
it does pretty good damage. I, I'll give it that. When it gets on these bosses, it's slicing through them. It's doing a lot of damage. Oh no, I forgot. Dang it. I have to, I have to wait for those. Okay, okay, these weapons, okay, this weapon's pretty strong damage. Oh man, First, I thought he was gonna die there and I wasn't gonna take that hit. Okay, um, okay, you're you're kind of strong. I'll give it to you, you're a little strong. All right, um, what do we wanna do for our next ascension? Do we wanna do this one? What does this do? Increases the number of projectiles by five. Oh, that's not, <laughs> that's probably just for this. Not, I was gonna say for everything. Enemies paralyzed by this relic will explode in th three more beams when dying. Um, or do we wanna try to over, I keep I keep wanting to say overclock. Um, Cause I'm so used, let's just commit to this. Let's commit to like the, the thunder. Increase this number of projectiles by five. So what happens? Imbue your armor with lightning bolts that target the enemies around you. Enemies paralyzed by this relic will explode. Didn't we have something that when paralyzed an enemy, there's a 35% chance that one lightning bolt will strike? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do this one, but which one did we want to do? Um... Let's just do the number of beams so we could try to paralyze more enemies. I think that's a good way to go. Oops. Okay, so we'll do more beams. And then let's get this guy maxed out. And then let's do some attack speed. And then we'll take one of these. Um, increases damage you inflict by 0.25 each time you receive damage from any source or pushes back some enemies and increases the following stats for seven seconds, attack speed and cooldown. Increases damage you inflict by 2.5 each time you receive damage. Hmm. In this game, you can't really take too much damage, you know, because there's not really a lot of healing sources. Um... Push backs. Let's do. Let's do the pushback, and then we can do. We can max out our attack speed, and then let's put our points into. Oh, I forgot. We could have. We could have ascended one of these two. Let's put points into damage. Okay. And then we'll upgrade this a little bit more too when we start getting some things. Thank you for your poop gold, Noki. Um, okay, see, so now I unlock this guy's shop so we can buy some more stuff. Adds one full red heart container. So let's buy this. And then, oh, none of these are a heal. Adds one full red heart container. Okay, then let's buy this chest. It's so much better when you unlock Talcor Shop, just because you have so much more options. Okay, let's go all in on our Thunder build here. Um, so do we want to do... What does Area even do with this weapon? It just shoots out a Thunderbolt, right? Let's go with damage. Okay, we'll take Duration. So duration, does that mean my, does that mean these are going to stay out there longer? Th this does have a duration of 2.35. So 2.58 seconds now. Movement speed. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I can't afford anything else anyway. So let's get out of here. Okay, these, these axes are starting to look a little bit better now. I'm still not too impressed with that lightning mode. I, I want to see what this other overclock is going to be for this weapon. Okay, let's try to get this. We have to kill 350 enemies.
This game just has really cool, unique play mechanics and builds you can do with with the characters. I love that each character sort of plays unique and that each weapon has multiple upgrade chains you can do with the ascensions and things like that. It's it's really, really fun. There's a lot of a lot of cool things you can do with this game. My biggest regret is that I just didn't play this from the start, but better late than never. Because this game is definitely, I'm definitely going to play this game a ton for the next month or so until until I feel like I've gotten everything I got need to get out of this game. But there's so many other characters, there's so many different builds. But I know you guys, if you guys have been watching this game for a while, you've probably seen most of it, so it's going to be kind of a rehash of what you've seen before, so I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm, I'm really, really enjoying this game, and I want to keep it in the rotation for a little bit here. Oh, I walked right into that. Look how quick this boss goes down when we, when we line it up. And yes, I know, this is the easiest difficulty. What is this thing? This is some sort of heart, but I don't know what exactly it does. Oh, it heals me. Cool. are on my gold that I'm trying to get to. Man, even when I aim my axe, my axes don't... I guess my axes don't really have an aim, huh? They just kind of go wherever they go. Like I'm trying to, like, let's go this way, and then they just... they just go in a circle still around me. They get launched wherever they're gonna get launched. Thunder armor doesn't really seem like it's that useful either. I think I definitely still prefer the iron, uh, the iron hammer. The iron hammer, uh, it shoots, um, uh, kind of like a shatter into the ground and hits any enemy that's in its way, and then you can get, obviously, multiple, multiple shatters. It's pretty strong, it feels like. I was gonna say, we haven't really gotten a chest from killing any of these mini-bosses. Mostly been this XP. Okay, let's do... Two extra projectiles for this or cooldown? Nope, we're going all in on Stormbringer. Okay, let's um let's do attack. gonna max us out at 25% attack damage now. It does really it does really it does it does do really good damage. I'll give it that at least. I'm just the uh, I think the biggest disappointment with this weapon is is the the ascension just doesn't really seem that good. Okay what else are we leveling up now? Movement speed, burn chance Oh, let's do our armor. Yeah, I don't want to forget about this guy. I, maybe that's why we're not too impressed with that, because it's only level one. I forgot. We could, we did ascend it, and then I didn't even put any points into it. The Ruined Tyrant. game could really use a dash. I think I read there is a dash coming in 1.0. Which 
which would be awesome. Because <laughs> the, the game does feel a little bit cumbersome not having a dash. So maybe I am I aiming it a little bit like maybe where the last bit of it goes maybe it goes on to that okay thank you for your poop gold um let's see do we even have anything we could we could ascend these um what is this gonna do create a new electric rune that orbits in the opposite direction we might as well right I mean this is electric what is this one this is just ice? Yeah, we're going all electric. Oops, I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. I guess that's fine though. <laughs> I meant to just. Uh, I meant to do my ascension on it. Uh, okay, so we we ascended that. So yeah, we're all in on. We're all in on thunder and lightning. Let's keep going. Oh, we could probably do cooldown too. Yeah, we, let's do some cooldown too. Okay. Um, let's buy our stuff. We'll buy another epic chest. Oh, we unlocked tall core. Yay! Okay, so extra bounces, damage, effect probability. Let's do the effect probability. Um. Yeah, let's try that because we did have this other item up here. Um, this one, when paralyzing an enemy, there's a 35% chance that one lightning bolt strikes another, so we can kind of do that. Uh, what are these? A rock? Damage plus one? Shoots arrows? Create fireballs that emerge? Oh, these are one-time use. This is a one-time use. Let's buy the bow. So that's an extra weapon, right? Yeah. So that'll be okay. And then I can buy both of these. My duration, and then what's this one? Movement speed? I could do the soul heart. Let's just do the movement speed. Okay, let's get out of here. We're, we're broke. We can't do anything else. Okay, so now we got a small emerald potion slay 3,500 bush creatures in Alphine. Okay, so now we get a new relic available to us. I don't know where they... I think they just show up in the game. Or maybe in the shops, I assume. I'm assuming that's how that works. Okay, oh, this is going to cost seven. Ooh, I think the holy sword is pretty good, too. Seven's a lot, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just hang out there and pick that up, because it's going to take us a while to get seven, seven level up points here. Hey man, this one's going to cost five. Oh, a Thunderstaff, though. <laughs> no, I want the Thunderstaff. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to try to get this Thunderstaff then. pick up all, all the XP we can and get this. Okay, that's five. Let's buy it. Okay, so what is this going to do? Lightning bolts fall from the sky, deal damage, and can paralyze the enemies it hits. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. 
<laughs> Perfect. We are officially the god of thunder and lightning. It's like, man, I keep running into that. <laughs> I don't know how I'm not seeing it. I'm just not paying attention to the to the thorns he's dropping. I mean, we're basically Thor now, right? I guess maybe it's hard to distinguish it from kind of the background of the game. It's maybe that's why I keep running into it. So now we're at the final boss. Uh, we got what nine points? Oh, we—I forgot we get an extra shop in here now. Okay, let's put our points into. I kind of want to put points into the thunder staff now. And then we can do. Well, I guess we'll put the last points into you. Just so we're efficient with our points. Okay, so we can buy... Oh, I can buy everything here. <laughs> I have just enough. Okay, so we'll buy you. Um, Let's see. Let's go into our Thunder Staff. Man, 85% 85, 85 chance to, to paralyze. 5% cooldown. 2% critical. 5% damage. Alright, let's jump into the boss. Astrid the something. Astrid of the Woodlands. Okay, I think we're going to do pretty good against her. As long as our axes hit her. I think she'll go down pretty quick. And the bosses get paralyzed. Oh man, I, for some reason I thought that orb was mine. I don't know if the bosses can get paralyzed. Oh, they can. I, I see it. Is that what happens when she turns white? Is she being paralyzed? No. I think that's just her doing her attack. She is getting paralyzed a lot though. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is turning into a solid build. These axes aren't bad. I want to see what this other... I want to see what the other overclock is. Ascension. Stop calling it overclock. It's not an overclock. <laughs> I need to see what the other ascension is, though, for this, for this weapon. Because I like... I do like throwing multiple axes out like this. I love how they just fall over. All right, so we cleared it. Uh, so here we go. Uh, shooting axes. Use the Stormbringer. I don't know exactly what that does, but that's the ascension we unlocked. Uh, did we not? I guess we didn't really unlock anything else. We unlocked uh, Tall Core, though. Oh, yeah, we did unlock the Small Emerald Potion. So we only got three unlocks this run. That was a solid run, though. Um, Stormbringer didn't do insane damage. Our whirlwind, yeah, we didn't, man, we didn't really do that much DPS here, huh? My other runs were, were way more DPS. Stormbringer did the most, though, so at least we accomplished that. At least we accomplished our main weapon doing the most damage. All right, well, there we go. That's going to be it. Um, thank you so much for what, man, we got level 83. Thank you so much for watching. This has been more Nordic Ashes. 
um yeah great game i'm definitely going to keep it into the rotation i know it's a little old but i hope you guys still enjoy watching this game if you enjoy these videos please drop a like feel free to subscribe to the channel where you can see me play all types of games very poorly and yeah i mean thank you so much for watching everybody i hope you have a great rest of your day